Hi, I'm Missy Beach, Senior Financial Advisor here at Wiser Wealth Management. Today, let's talk about two magic words, compound interest. These words are so magical, I thought they should be some of my kids' first words. So typically, your kids' first words are mama or dada or ball, but then I decided to throw into the mix compound interest. So I would ask my kids, Hatcher, why do we save money? And he would gleefully exclaim, compound interest. Now, obviously, a two-year-old has zero clue what compound interest means. And we all have a general clue that it's a good idea. But what does that really mean? Well, let's just kind of sit back and see what those numbers mean. Take, for example, a new college graduate. We all know enrolling in a 401k is a really smart idea. And it's smart to pay yourself first, right off the top. So let's say that new college graduate puts away $10,000 in his or her 401k account at the ripe old age of 22 years old and does that consistently each year uh, until retirement at the Social Security full retirement age of age 67. And we won't even assume that that $10,000 increases each year with the rate of inflation. So we'll just keep $10,000 going into that 401k constant. And we'll apply an average rate of return of 7%, which is to be expected for uh, keeping your money invested in a diversified portfolio. So at age 67, you can expect that those $10,000 a year being thrown into the 401k at 7%, it's gonna be worth over $2.8 million. So, okay, maybe you missed the boat. Maybe you didn't get the memo on how great compound interest is. Okay, well, let's fast forward. You're in your early 40s. Maybe you're age 42. Okay, you think, hey, I've still got 25 years to that full retirement date. I'm still gonna put 10 grand a year into my 401k. Well, guess what? Instead of $2.8 million, you just have $632,000. So that delay of 20 years, that compound interest, your account balance is a fourth of what it could have been by investing at age 22. And then, heaven forbid, you come see me and you're five years away from retirement in your early 60s. You're at 62. You say, Missy, here I am. I have five years till I wanna retire at age 67. Okay, well, say you're putting away that 10 grand a year starting at age 62. Ugh, failure. You only have $57,000 in your 401k. Forget that 2.8 million that you could have had if you had just put away 10 grand a year starting at age 22. You know, if you come in here at age 62, you want to retire at age 67, and you wish you had that $2.8 million balance, mm, you would have had to have saved $487,000 each year for those five remaining working years, which I don't think most clients can do that. That's not even feasible. So as you can see, starting earlier and earlier, compound interest is your best friend. So any amount that you can save at an early age is just going to compound its growth over time. So time and interest are your friends. Start early and save often. If you have any questions, please get in touch with us, but thanks for listening.